It could be really easy fix, but if not fixed on time, you will need the engine replaced or rebuilt. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang. It could be guys, multiple generation Ford Mustang. If you have a problem where you guys have pressure, high pressure in the cooling system, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It could be easy fix, but if not on fix on time, it can practically destroy your engine, overheat your engine, and you may end up spending thousands of dollars in repair. So stay with us and we'll explain what can cause that. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys. Anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, exterior. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return for providing these free videos, please subscribe to the channel and like the videos. That way we can uh, keep making them. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools at a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So let's start on it now. So we'll demonstrate on this 2019 Ford Mustang GT, but even if you have a previous generation guys, 4, 6, 8 cylinder engine, it will work practically on multiple of those. So let's explain what can easily cause that now. So first never open the coolant reservoir or work on the cooling system when the engine coolant is hot. Let it sit overnight, make sure everything's cool. Because you can see it's uh, under pressure. It will be hot, so when you open it, it can spray you guys, okay, and it can severely burn you. So, uh, what can cause guys high pressure in the cooling system, hard radiator hose, pressure in the radiator hose? Uh, multiple things, guys. One thing that we see quite often here could be a radiator cap, okay, or the coolant overflow tank cap. Uh, this one right here, okay, let's go ahead and remove it. This thing gets a little bit stuck here. We need to replace it the seal is getting a little bit uh, dry and uh, that's causing a little bit of trouble okay removing it so uh, this cap guys is performed to actually uh, work at certain pressure for instance that cap is designed to work at 21 psi uh, pressure and uh, practically if you reach more there is a valve right here that will let the pressure in the atmosphere so it will keep the coolant system at 21 psi that's when it's going to work the best cooling system but if that valve is stuck what can easily happen okay that can start building pressure in your cooling system so it could be a bad cap number two okay if you recently guys uh, guys did any work uh, on the cooling system such as thermostat replacement water pump replacement radiator radiator hose anything that required draining the coolant if you just added coolant and started driving that could be your problem you may end up having an air pocket in your engine which will prevent coolant to flow from the radiator to the engine and the engine may start overheating and that can cause pressure as well. So always guys, when draining the coolant and add new coolant, you need to bleed the cooling system. Now, if you don't, you can overheat and destroy your engine. There are multiple videos that will teach you how to bleed the cooling system guys. It's not very complicated, but do it on time, otherwise you can destroy your engine. Next, it could be thermostat. I'm talking about bad thermostat. If thermostat is stuck closed, the engine may start overheating. That thing can create pressure as well. Number four, bad water pump or serpentine belt that's not driving the water pump. So inspect to make sure that the belt is still on. Make sure, okay, that the pump is circulating the coolant. It could be bad water pump. Next, inspect the radiator fan. Test the radiator fan. Radiator fan that doesn't turn on can cause the coolant to start getting hot and that can cause pressure in the system as well. But one of the most common ones that we see is uh, not bleeding the cooling system and having a bad okay, radiator cap right here guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having a Ford Mustang. Thank you for watching and see you next time. 